Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Just climb over, dude. It's not that bad. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. Look! They burned a line a few Look! Ago. They should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably uh. the guys who would help you get through that fence. Oh, there's still fence there. But come on, you can just jump over. Like you just 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 put your foot up to it and climb down the other side. I'm not in great shape, but I could do that. Also, there's rocks here. Maybe you could bash the lock. Oh. Really? No. Oh. Well, I tried. It's funny that they set those up. I mean, you're supposed to find them. Fine. All right, so where am I going now? Uh, look for controlled burn south of Ruby River. Let's find Ruby River. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Oh, you want me to go all the way over there, huh? It's like across the entire map. So you gotta follow Thunder Canyon, go back home, and then head south from there, basically. Watch out for consumption. I'll try. Alright, got a little bit of a trip ahead of us. Just to go over a fence that I could have easily gone over, I guess. Maybe these rocks will be more helpful. Oh, save point. Can I climb up this tree? Nope. Nope. I guess it wouldn't really be ideal when you could just do this. <laughs> Go to the other side of the map to ask someone to shake a gate for me. I don't honestly know why we're going over there. I mean, what are they going to help me do that I couldn't have done myself? Just as a human being, I don't know. I thought I understood all of the possibilities that life had. But maybe... Maybe the firefighter has an axe that can chop the, uh, the lock off. If that's really what we're that concerned about. And why would he help us anyway when he doesn't really know what our purposes are? He's just going to trust that I'm doing the right thing for some reason? I'll take the top route this time, I guess. Every now and then I keep thinking I need to do, like, Mirror's Edge parkour moves to get around this canyon. Oh, well, we do get some nice soundtrack, at least. They have mustaches, they can open it with that. Well, I thought I had a beard. From that photo, anyway. Which, granted, could be old, but... In that photo, I had a beard, anyway. Suplex a boulder. Yeah. If only Chris Redfield was here to help me get through the gate, I'm sure he could punch a giant rock down to take care of all the problems. Um, so we're still a little ways away. I just look for the rightmost wall and we can climb out, and we're good. <clears throat> hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. That sounds like something. Nothing, I promise. Mm. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. They're, you're all setting me up. Keep your radio close to you. Yeah, that they can listen to. They listen to the radio. Well, you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah. Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios. I heard her other frequency, and I heard her talking to people. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. <sighs> She's setting me up. 
I don't trust her. The way she got all defensive about it when I mentioned it like, oh, that's impossible, instead of actually talking through the situation with me, that tells me that there's something going on with her. I think this butterfly is a bug. It's a plant. Get out of here, butterfly. Don't need you filled with microphones. Anyway. Oh, I went too far again. <laughs> I do that a lot. I guess we'll take the cave route. Going to be anything creepy in here today? Whoa. The light, like, doesn't penetrate this spot for some reason, and it's creepy. It's locked. It's locked. That'd be wild if just this time it opened. Slender Wyoming edition. Yeah, I can see that as well. Um... There we go. This is the right way, right? Yeah. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. It's just how scared he would have been. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know, Ned. Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Is he talking on the radio or climbing? Uh, I think it's very significant that time when I could hear her talking and she didn't realize I was there. Because I even said many times in a row, like, hey, I can hear you, and then she just ignored it. What was up with that? Why would she ignore that? And why would I hop over this? I mean, it's just a prompt. I don't think I can go anywhere here. <laughs> What's the point of this? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I talk on a radio while climbing, yet I can't climb over the fence that's requiring me to go back across this entire area. This is like a half a day's worth of a hike just to get back to go find someone who might have an axe to hit a freaking rock. To hit a lock with. When I had a rock, couldn't open it. Couldn't climb over the fence. It's good at climbing here. Can't climb over a fence. Well, maybe there's a reason they wanted me to go back here. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, what? The flapjack fire. What about it? Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Alright, so we're, down, we're back at home. Now we want to head... Just south, so where I'm headed already is fine. I think this is the longest journey they've had me go on now. Is this a way down? Nope. Look kind of like one. Good night, Lynn. Love you. See you tomorrow. Oh, did I ever go this way before? I guess not, huh? Wow, you're like really putting your whole body into these jumps. You could just step across.
This has to be one of the last places to mark down on the map, right? Or I guess there's still a little bit over to the top right, maybe? So another note. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Uh, most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen and paper, pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a... I can't move the note. Oh, I guess I could just do that, huh? Uh, sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. Alright. Terminal 7. More books. Neil Black. Really into this Neil Black thing. Michael Keaton with Kurt Russell. Exciting. The Accidental Savior. Oh. The JFK thing? John Russell knows the president's life. Hangs in the balance, but who would believe him? Not just another James Bond. <laughs> hmm. I feel like I should know what that implies. Is this one chance to die? Oh, it's a gun! Clever artwork. Yeah, there's like a lot of that going on. A lot of... A lot of murder mystery stuff all around. Is there anything else in here? No. Just clues, I guess. And the note, of course. There it is. And there it goes. There it is. Oh, it's the lending library. I guess you could probably end up going to, like, this bit over here on the right, or maybe over there. I don't know. Anyway, I'm here now, so we're gonna head south, and then we're gonna head to the right. Scout camp. South being that way. Oh. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire. Oh, maybe the burn is what cleared up that one path earlier on. Now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Pond. See it. I don't know if there's any reason for me to go the other direction. Uh, oh, I can report the burn again. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Oh. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Oh, I didn't even catch that, <laughs> that pun until he pointed it out. Um, so I'm going, I'm going, uh, east now. East, east, east. Oh, hello. Oh. Wrecked snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to Pork be a pond. for it, but, um... That's where the pigs go. Well, folks kept stealing it. It's a good name. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. <laughs> I'm with her, I think it would. 
she can't take the heat. You guys have got some fantastic fire puns going right now. In fact, I would say you guys are on fire. Keep it up. Arapaho camp. Okay. Broken bridge. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Ah, uh, walk the ravine. This is what I do. This is what I do to be alone in the wilderness. All alone. Walk in the ravine. Looking for high ground. Ah, found a bush, though. High ground? High ground. Hello. Uh, no. Yeah, no, that's probably a bit much. I could probably get up on the, the pile of rocks there. I don't know if I get down easily, though. Oh, what's this? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing in every direction, apparently. It looks like I'm meant to build, like, a rope bridge across to this dead tree. But I don't think they're letting me do that. No. Can we go up higher? No, nothing there. I don't think that goes anywhere, either. Okay, maybe I'll walk the ravine in the other direction. It really looked like a crossing point, though, didn't it? Uh, no. Oh, there's another one. They all have the same kind of score mark across the bottom. You can just, like, drag something over there and find a way down. Oh, long drop down. Okay. Okay. Long drop. I don't know. That wasn't nearly as long as some of the other drops that I've not said were long. Where am I? I'm real confused. I've gone in a circle, I guess. Oh. I've already solved my problem. Never mind. I love when I do that. Got a problem? I already solved it. I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If... If anyone's still there, they might be able to help. I'm gonna sound crazy. Maybe you just ask them to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll see what I can find. You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean... I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost... Goddamn nerd. ...the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, Planar Dragon's armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. <laughs> Freaking nerds and their dragons. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Well, well, bear trap. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. What is going on with these freaking books, man? Why don't I ever report these? The gripping finale to crime by numbers. Ten names all sure to be dead in 48 hours. Fitting end to 15 years of Neil Black mystery. It's just the end of the story there. I wonder if that's significant. It's gotta be. Just don't know how yet. It's strange how silent he's been about all of those. He 
The paratramp is set off. It was in a position that it shouldn't have probably been. Yeah, this is all screwed up looking. Nobody here. What's over here, though? Firefighters are gone, but there's an axe. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Trowel. Ooh. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? I'm still holding it. Why am I still holding it? <laughs> now that's a real mystery. Yeah, it was right with the toilet paper as well, so... Okay, well, now that's back down again. This is great. That'd be really funny if it unraveled. It doesn't, though. It just rolls very nicely and neatly. There it goes. You have snail races with it. It's a memo. Hey D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe you know stop there, let the mystery <laughs> percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? The Grey Bull. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about... Studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm going to do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Alright, so... I don't understand why that was an option. Am I not reading this properly? <clears throat> Squad Boss Carson, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing to you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons, Moppity Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak to you as part of the wildfire risk assessment of that region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in pro protecting their site even though they'll be more than a mile away, but I think they've got insurance company's answer, too. Thanks, Louis, for your service. Rich Slusherenko. 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 Assistant Superintendent. That, like, doesn't say what I just told her it said, but I only said that because I was on a timer? I hadn't read it when I had had to answer that question, so I don't quite get why that had to go down that way. Why would he have even said, or had the option to say that based on what that memo said? Oh, axe. Ask me a question. No, report the axe. Re report the axe. God damn it, game! I really don't like that they keep taking me out of the character by taking away my options when I'm not ready to do a thing or have done the thing in the wrong timing. It's just screwed me too many times now. I mean, you already saw the clipboard. I glanced at it, but I hadn't read. There was like two paragraphs there. 
<clears throat> so now I've just sort of gone in the wrong direction based on nothing. What? what you got? I found an axe back near that camp. Oh, okay. Just tell her about the axe uh, now, sure. Whatever. Left it. Probably, yeah. It's got like a funny little point. Sure does. Okay, that's called a Pulaski. It's standard issue. Whatever. This Pulaski I found means I can start clearing these trails. Nice. Wow. Metroidvania. Can I get back by cutting down this tree and then walking over it? That's why they're all like that. What a bro. You have to report the tree that's just fallen down. Why were there two? I saw a second tree that had this way. Well, maybe on the other side of the rock outcrop. Is this legal? I don't know. It was already chopped most of the way through. See, there's the other one. Yeah, whatever. So do you actually want me to now walk all the way back? To where I started. Maybe there's another way. To get to Wapiti Station. It's a bit of a walk. Isn't it? You go back up there, then over to the left, and then keep back up north. Alright, better get on it, I guess. Are you there? I, I had a thought. I'm always Let's there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Don't or assume. you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. Tell, tell her the wrong thing. No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Kidding me? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Oh, a tree that floats! Your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. 